Hello everyone, this is Jacob Ames, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. If you've ever dealt with data loss in SolidWorks while working in a collaborative work environment, you know exactly how frustrating it can be. While SolidWorks PDM is our number one recommendation for collaborative file management, there's a handful of options within SolidWorks that can help those of you who don't have access to it. In this video, we'll be covering read-only options within SolidWorks, we'll be exploring the reload command, leveraging the multi-user environment, and checking out read-only with Windows Explorer to help you manage your files more effectively. For the uninitiated, read-only is an option that prevents a file from being changed or overwritten. When opening a SOLIDWORKS file, for example, use the open drop-down menu to open a file read-only. It's as simple as that. Usually, files are opened read-only when somebody else on your network has write access to them. It's important to understand that when opening a parent document like a drawing or an assembly, the child components are not loaded read-only by default. You can see here in my file explorer list of open in SOLIDWORKS only the keyholder assembly is listed in orange, illustrating that it is the only file that's been opened read-only. If you'd like to force SOLIDWORKS to automatically load all the child components read-only as well, this can be accessed in the system options under external references. The first checkbox, open reference documents with read-only access, enabling this will force all the child components to load as well. If you choose to use this option, we also recommend choosing the second checkbox to avoid excessive read-only save prompts. If I then reload the same assembly using our read-only mode, when we revisit the open in SOLIDWORKS area of File Explorer, you'll see that all the components are listed in orange, indicating that everything is read-only. The two instances of SOLIDWORKS shown here represent two separate users on the same network. On the left, we have the assembly user who has only the assembly loaded into memory while leaving write access to the child components to somebody else. On the right, we have the user of the key component. As you'll see here, when we make adjustments to the key, we're not prompted with any read-only warnings as we'd expect. Any changes that are made can be saved without any issues. On the assembly side, however, these changes are not automatically seen, even if we rebuild the assembly. This is where the reload command comes in. Reload can be used to check the disk for newer copies of the components and to check who has write access. If any components need to be updated, simply click OK and SOLIDWORKS will load the current copy from the disk. This can be a little difficult as a manual process though, so going to options and enabling the collaborative environment can make this significantly easier. Access the collaboration tab, enable the multi-user environment, and you can choose to check if files open read-only have been modified according to a prescribed time period, in this case 20 minutes. There's also a check read-only files command that you can enable to trigger this process manually. If SOLIDWORKS detects any out-of-date files, the reload command will automatically be started and those components can be reloaded. Despite all these read-only warnings that we've seen, we all know that one person who's going to ignore them anyway and overwrite a read-only file. So there's one last method that can be really helpful in preventing your files from being overwritten, and that's to enable read-only through Windows Explorer. Simply right-click a file in Windows Explorer and choose Properties, and here, enable the read-only attribute. Once that's done, your users will no longer be able to overwrite the file uh, regardless of what they do. So any changes that are made, we can try to save them. SOLIDWORKS will let us know that this is a read-only file, and we can only try again with a different file name. We cannot overwrite this file now, and this is the most powerful way to protect your data. If this all sounds like too much work, we certainly agree. This type of collaborative file management can be significantly simplified by implementing SOLIDWORKS PDM. Workflows and file management practices can be customized and standardized for your organization, ensuring that design and engineering data remains safe and secure despite the best efforts of the new employee. Do you have any other tips for proper file management? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.